All right, guys, we're here in the master bathroom, working on the shower still. Um, you can check out the other video I'm doing about um, making the shower pan here. But uh, today's project is a niche for the shower. So let me step back here. So in this shower, if you look at the layout on the floor. You can kind of see a wall will come here then it will be glass, glass door, glass, and then there's the wall right there. So we're just missing this piece here to be framed in. For the niche, what this is, is a little inset in the wall for you to put uh, your shampoos and soaps and everything. Um, my plan is to put it in this back wall right here. Okay, so let's talk about planning to put in the niche. Uh, this is an exterior wall. This is an older house, so it's 2x4 framing. Uh, interestingly enough, it's 2x6 framing from this corner until here, and then it goes 2x4 framing the rest of the way in. So the first thing we need to do is determine the height that we want the niche to be at. For my niche, I think... Just kind of guesstimating, I'm going to want it about four feet off the floor, the finished floor. So here's our four foot mark. Make your mark there at four feet. Then you can take your level. This is a four foot level. Put it on that mark. Find level from that mark. And then we have level all the way across. I'm gonna check it one more time where I'm not awkwardly holding it. And put it on all of my marks here. Okay, good, I got it, luckily. Okay, so before I get going on the framing here, this is some pretty basic framing. I kinda wanna walk you through it so that as I'm doing it, you can follow along, you understand what I'm doing. So, use this as a pointer here. We just marked our four foot mark, which is where I want the bottom of the niche to be. The niche is 12 inches tall, so there'll be 12 inches above. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out, my niche is 28 inches long, so I'm gonna put it from here to here, okay? For those of you that have some understanding of framing, this is gonna be pretty much identical to framing out a window, except for you're not gonna put a hole in the wall to insert a window. Okay, so you're going to have a seal plate at your four foot mark. You're going to have a top plate here, and then you're going to have cripples going up. And you'll have your cripples below, and you'll have a king stud on the side. Okay, so I just wanted to sit down here with a quick drawing I did uh, of what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, so currently I've just got studs going up, nothing, nothing in the way. It's just normal 2x4 studs floor to ceiling so with a uh, window and it's the same thing with the niche what you're gonna have is you're gonna have your king stud which goes floor to ceiling your jack stud which goes floor to bottom of the header and then you're gonna have your cripples which go floor to sill window seal or niche seal I guess you would call it so cripple 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 cripples are not crucial structurally in the fact that they're not holding any load from the ceiling above that they're only holding load from what is sitting on top of this window seal so if it's just the window that's it for this case it's the niche so a couple of shampoo bottles then we get to the other side and we have another jack stud which goes floor to header and a king stud floor to ceiling keep in mind this is um, this is the framing for a load-bearing wall um, where you got the the weight of the ceiling and the trusses sitting on top of this double plate this double top plate that's why I'm adding a bigger header a 2 by 6 header here okay it's a little bit different if it's non-load bearing, um, but you know 
either way I, I always prefer to do overkill so that's it so when I finish uh, I'll show you the end product it should look something like this drawing so what I did really quickly is I measured 12 inches up made a mark use my level to make the my the same line 12 inches up so that's my rough opening dimension for the height is 12 inches now you've got to keep in mind when you frame this out because remember you're going to put a seal plate here I'm not going to go cut this stud right here and cut that stud right there because then when I put in my seal plate and I put in the top of the opening it's going to reduce it by an inch and a half on top and an inch and a half on the bottom and then I'm totally off so what you need to do is measure down the inch and a half which is the width of a standard 2x4 okay just like this or that any of these 2x4s or 2x6s they're not actually two inches they're they're um, an inch and a half thick so I'm gonna measure down an inch and a half up an inch and a half and that way when I put in my 2x4 on top and my 2x4 on bottom then my rough opening is 12 inches high there that's done and yes if uh, you're wondering I could have just pulled the measurement from the floor 48 inches taken off an inch and a half so 46 and a half inches and then mark that and cut right there okay so before I set you guys down let me just show you what I've got here I have the whole layout marked out so got my inch and a half space here for the seal plate uh, ignore the middle mark it's really from this mark to that mark which is five and a half inches that's my two by six on its side double plated together that'll be the header so I'm really going to cut here, cut here, add in the seal plate, add in the header. I'll be left with a 12 inch gap in the middle. As far as the bottom, what I did from this corner of the shower to this corner, I think it was like 57 and a half inches. So I divided that by two, which gives you eh, 28 and three quarters, I believe. So that's my center mark. And then I know my niche is... 28 inches so I went 14 this way and 14 that way so now my niche is 28 inches wide and perfectly centered on this wall so as you can see I'm going to need to take out this stud this stud and this stud so that's three studs I'm taking out off of a low bearing wall I think I might sure it up it'll probably be fine but just to be safe I might throw a couple of two by fours underneath the trusses Okay, so we've got a layout here where a silk plate is going and where a header is going. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the jack studs that are going to come up below the header. So one here and one here. Okay, the next step, um, I'm gonna, my header is a two by six, so that's five and a half inches that I have marked here. I'm not gonna cut this out yet because I need to support the trusses just temporarily. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go make the header right now. So to make the header, the rough opening for the niche that I'm doing, and it could be the same for a window, you need to know the rough opening. Mine is 28 inches wide. Now what I don't want to do is go and make my header exactly 28 inches. Because what will happen then is it will land inside of my jack studs. We have to have the header supported on either side if you remember from the drawing. So what you want to do is you want to add an inch and a half to one side and an inch and a half to the other side. The simplest way to do it is to take your rough opening and add three inches. So my rough opening is 28 inches. I'm gonna cut my two by six header at 31 inches. Okay, so I've got my two two by sixes cut out at 31 inches. Um, you don't just wanna go nail these together and put them in just like that. What you're gonna find is, like if we put these next to each other as if they were a header, but I'm going to check the depth with the studs 
there's about a half inch gap that they're sitting back. So we want these things to be flush with the wall. So the best way to do that, get yourself a piece of half inch plywood, cut it to pretty much the same dimensions. Again, this is more of a spacer, so it doesn't have to be exact. And you're gonna sandwich that plywood between your two by sixes, and then you can nail it all together. And then you have a header that is the width of the inside of the wall and it will sit flush with the wall, making it easier to drywall or whatever you need to do. So I'm gonna go nail this all together and get it ready to put in. Okay, let me step back. So what I've got here is one stud underneath that joist there. I really don't think I need anything to support it, but just to be safe, I threw one under there. A little janky, but It'll do. It's just going to be for a couple of minutes. So just to recap, I've got to cut on this bottom line here. One, two, three. And I've got to cut on the top line there. Actually, the top line's a little high, so I made a mark with a pencil. I'm about an eighth inch off. So I'm going to cut one, two, three. And then what I'll do is I'll put the header in with the jack studs to hold it up. And I'll put the seal plate in as well. I took just a couple of seconds to extend my marks all the way through the depth of the stud. So that way it's easier to follow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my skill saw and drop the blade all the way as deep as it will go. And then I'm just going to zip, 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 slice through all those studs. It's going to leave probably uh, an inch, inch and a half left. And I'll take the sawzall and finish it off from there. All right guys, so that is the job. 
So right there, it should look pretty similar to the drawing I did. We've got King Stud, Jack Stud, Cripple, 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 Jack Stud, King Stud. We've got our seal plate, our header, Cripple, 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 and then the King Studs going all the way up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll answer them as best I can. And uh, until the next video.